a good time happening in Houston this weekend. Houston's first ever, I love this, art bike parade. HISD kiddos decorated their bikes and they'll show them off on a route that goes through McGregor Park. Yeah, it's a colorful spinoff to the iconic art car parade. And Joe Sam is outside our studio with a look at some of the artistic bikes you can expect to see tomorrow. Joe, this is such a cool idea. It really is, Derek and Catherine. Take a look at this artistic bike that we're on right now. It is absolutely beautiful, and the organizers behind the Art Car Parade wanted to show everyone that there's an artist inside of you, which is why I went down to Love Elementary to find those artists, those young students creating their own art bikes for this weekend's parade. <laughs> This is not your normal bike gang. They're a group of talented young students at Love Elementary in the Heights, kicking their creativity into overdrive. We have a tradition of every year doing a full, a whole school photo, and it's of all the different colors of the rainbow. They all have their own unique creativity in their pieces, and when you put them all together, it's like, uh, really shows everything that love has to offer. Tomas is love's art instructor and has been working at the school for a number of years, providing an outlet for students to help stretch their imagination. An outlet special education instructor Jamie Lampert says it's something every student can enjoy. Fine arts does so much for so many students, especially out of the special needs students. So when we thought of this idea, we wanted something that they could participate in and just be a part of making a gigantic rainbow for our school. So with every twist and turn of string and wire, students were able to transform this average bike into a work of colorful art after being guided for a few weeks by their awesome teacher. I think he's a really fun guy and I really like working on flowers and the flower bike. He has been giving me more ideas and I have make my own ideas too. Now everyone will be able to see their idea roll down the street during this year's first ever art bike parade. I'm super excited for the art bike parade. I feel like the art car parade is something not every kid can relate to. Being little, they can't drive, but riding a bike is such an important part of kids' childhoods that just seeing all these bikes decorated, artistic, representing the different schools. And the school's principal is proud to have their personality represented while giving the students another lesson about teamwork growth and life skills. Just students being able to use this as like, even problem solving skills, the different ways to represent flowers, um, being able to show their individuality in every flower that they use, um, I think is really neat because it's really important for students to know that there's more than one right answer to everything that we do. As you can see, that bike gang is ready for the art bike parade. And when we talk about those bikes, we have Cycled de Mayo right here. That's the name that we're giving it because it is absolutely colorful and beautiful, ready to roll down the streets this weekend. We want to come to you really quick, Jonathan, and explain to us a little bit more about the person that's behind this bike because I heard that there was a community effort that came together to make sure that this looks good for this weekend. That's right. We've been uh, operating uh, art bike workshops throughout the city over the last few months, and this has been a community build uh, led by one of our amazing educators um, and people throughout Houston. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be really, really fun. And can you really explain to people what's the route going to be like whenever they come out for the art bike parade? Because everyone's really excited about it. Sure. We're hoping everybody can come to McGregor Park. Uh, the starting lineup uh, will start lining up around 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the parade will officially start being kicked off by Mayor Turner at 10. Uh, there will be a parade within the park. And then after that, concludes. Everybody's encouraged to take the trail, the Bayou Greenway Trail, which is Bray's Bayou Greenway, all the way to Fondy Park um, and then Smither Park after that where the festivities will continue and there'll be an award ceremony and um, we're just really excited that there's three locations right. that you don't have to get in a car, you can get on your bike <laughs> and get to the party. You really can. It is definitely going to be a party. We thank both of you for being here. You guys get out there and join that. We're going to be right back after a quick break here on Houston Life.